What's up, YouTube? So today we have the Kobe Bryant Mitchell and S Hall of Fame jerseys. We have the purple version and we have the gold version. And we also have the shorts. All right. So ended up buying the purple version, the gold version, and obviously the purple shorts. And I come to find out that the purple shorts have pockets, which are pretty dope. So we're going to get to that soon. What we're going to do is get a little bit more detailed review. I did try these on. They're basically a regular 52. I will say this, though. They fit a little shorter than your regular Kobe Bryant jerseys. Thank God I'm fucking short as hell. So it doesn't really bother me. But for people who are tall, probably 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 um, I don't know. May have to go a size bigger to get more length. Pause. But yeah, so that's interesting. But we're not here for all of that. We're here to give you a little bit more detailed review. So let's do that. All right. So first off, I want to say is they went with, instead of a regular fabric, and you know what, let me pull out another Kobe jersey so you guys could kind of see. So, instead of the fabric that you get here, which mimics the uh, fabric from, from the Nike jerseys back in the day, you get this sheen, this dazzled sheen. So this is going to be very similar to the jerseys like the Denver Nuggets in the Carmelo era. So that was kind of interesting. I guess they wanted to just be a little different and not go with the same fabric, but it's that type of fabric, that shiny material. Um, the Heat had this style. You know, you can name a, a bunch of teams that had this dazzled style with the Reebok era, et cetera. All right. So as we look at the purple, which is probably my favorite of the two, we take a look at the Mitchell and S tag. You have your size 52 made in Vietnam. As we go down to the tags, this is what your tag should look like if you purchased it from Mitchell and S. Or this is what your tag should look like if you're trying to purchase it from a third party website. Okay, so we put that back in. Now we have the Lakers and the Kiss Cut style. But this time, very similar, again, to the Lakers, to the Denver Nuggets, you have that design on the twill. But you see how clean that is, of course, Mitchell and S keeps it clean and then you have that stitching with the white twill so as we look at the sides it's the same that dazzle style material as we look at the jock tag you have hall of fame class of 2020 you have the mamba symbol we have number 24 and number 8 with the snakes, which is really, really dope touch. You have 1996 to 2016, obviously the years Kobe Bryant played in the NBA. And then you have your jock tag. They decided to take the authentic, I guess because that just would have added length to the already long jock tag. As you can see here, the front of the jersey is a little shorter than the back of the jersey. As we look at the tags, there we go. You have full 2020. As we take a look at the back, you have your Bryant, again in that kiss cut, and then with that uh, design on the twill. We go down to the 24, same thing. Let's take a look at the inside of the jersey. You have that cut out designs. So that's the purple jersey. Now, this jersey is pretty much the same style in a different colorway. So, 
you're gonna have that purple swirl with the same kiss cut. 24 coming down. This color is a very light gold. Would be difficult to match. If I give you an example, just give me one second. Hold on, let's see. So you guys could kind of have, uh, I guess, kind of see what that gold looks like. So it's a little lighter than what you would get on the Jordan 1 gold toes. Yeah. All right, so that's the gold jersey. Again, pretty much the same jersey as the purple. And then as we get to the shorts, we have the Mamba logo on the elastic. We have the Kobe Bryant year on the inside. Made in Vietnam, patches. But what's cool about this one is you get this patch here on one of the sides but it's only on one side so you get this patch here which is pretty cool again if you look at the detail twenty four and then for whatever reason they made pockets so let me show you what the pockets which means they could probably do this with all their authentic shorts. And of course they don't. But to me, it would make them more wearable. Because at the end of the day, they're a lifestyle company that mimics authentic apparel. And yeah, so that's that. I don't want to rant too much about that. But yeah, so there we go. Yeah, here is your Hall of Fame Mitchell and Ness authentic jerseys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you haven't subscribed you know what to do like subscribe all that shit um and yeah that's that guys yeah